In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Layers, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug, a rhinoceros beetle, king of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very welcome sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon Militia Enlistee Alicia Melkiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? 
Baldio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science, and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying war, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randgreaves. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. First off, you have the Scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good Scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the Shock Trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time.
Nancy DeFore. It's so good to meet you. Thank you. Hello. I'm Ted Ustinov, and I've got some great new material for you. I'm Oscar Baylor. Thanks for taking me on board. My name is Cesare Regard, and I'll handle things my own way, thank you. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up.
Kevin. Kevin Abbott? Pleased to meet you. I'm Nochi Wordsworth. Hi. Hi there, I'm Yoko Martins. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Sir, I realize I'm inexperienced, but I'll do all I can. Please, call me Wavy. From today onward, we fight together. By single bard. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. The name's Jane Turner. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in imps. My name's Nina Streis, and I look forward to a good workout out there.
I'm Niels. Niels Dareden. I'll see you on the field. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. together with you until this war claims my life. Hello, sir. My name is Nadine. I'm sure I'll be coming to you for help. Feel like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Come to think of it, Faldio's heading up Squad 1, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I'd better get a move on. nightmare I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape still I can't work miracles here no amount of drilling beats real combat experience I want you all to go out there kick some imp tail and then show me what you learned I will train that experience into something you can actually use level you bums up but don't go trying to hog all the glory a squad's a team, and we got no need for stars. You will train as a class, and level up by class. Scout level two, scout level three, you get it? When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. You hear me, maggots? Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team, go home now! All right, now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. It ain't complicated. First you go out there and fight, then divvy up that experience here. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. Train all you want. I've got all day. Closer to human. You're better than this. Push those limits. You're one level closer to human. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the Lancers. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the Snipers. Got it? That's how training by class works. 
Now get out there and rack up some experience. Oh, and there's one more thing to add. Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field, so keep them in mind. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic, a real golden oldie. Orders are special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. All that just from me working you sorry bums into the dirt. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? I knew it! Man, I've heard about you. That evacuation at Brule was just... Wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man, man! Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out! It's Lieutenant Gunther! He's the man, man! <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Kreese Cherny. I'm training here as a mechanic. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. set for you, bro. It's done. Sorry, bro. Just not there yet. Here you go, bro. All done. Set for 
for you, bro. It's done. All set for you, bro. It's done. Well, sir, was that helpful? We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. Looking for you. Hey, Ys. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so, too. So, what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite-powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Gallian soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ys. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. Alright, we'll get going for now then. See you later. cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. 
It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgrees. Our mission is to take it back. The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint! The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own! How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verrat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever! They're just country mice. It's not like there'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. Who was that? General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Gallia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Gentlemen. Let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the Western Bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther, I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. Here are details on the current operation.
We're prepared to commence the operation. I look forward to good news from you. Split into two teams, offensive and defensive. Squad 7, move out! All right, it's our first mission. Let's split into two teams, City and Riverside. I'll lead the Riverside team towards the enemy encampment with the Edelweiss. Shock Trooper here. Lead the offense to me. City team, your job is to guard the base. Be ready for anything, including tanks. How long you think I've been an anti-tank man? A couple of tanks ain't no sweat. That's a spirit, Largo. Now, let's move out! Listen closely. This information could save your life.
Say so. Units 
life. I'll do my very best.
Tanks busted right through the sticking wall. Well, it's my turn now. Stick this in your pipe and smoke it. Stay sharp. Tanks can break through crumbling walls and trample down sandbags and trees.
Damage sustained.
entering combat. Now! Use those sandbags when you can. Get some power Let's do this thing. Enemy sighted. Here I come! I'm impressed, but not surprised. My leg! They got my... Damage sustained. Operation complete. We took their base. You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, Hot Stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. Oopsie daisy! What? <sighs> hey, you can't... Ah, nice to meet you, too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you, anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the uh, hardest experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me, 
But what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story, a good story, and you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good, I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews, thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. <sighs> Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please, he's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Oh, I hate kids. Ah, whatever, he'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. <laughs> 